Today, we will answer some challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given this equation, a over b plus c plus d plus b over a plus c plus d plus c over a plus b plus d plus d over a plus b plus c equals 1. Then the goal is to find the sum of a squared over b plus c plus d plus b squared over a plus c plus d plus c squared over a plus b plus d plus d squared over a plus b plus c. Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. So given this equation, the goal is to evaluate this expression. Alright, so to answer this, let's get this equation. And what we're going to do is to multiply all of this term by a. Now, what is the reason? Because we want a squared over b plus c plus d. So let's multiply this equation by a. So we have a squared over b plus c plus d and the rest. Alright? And also, since we want b squared, so let's multiply the original equation by b. So we have here b squared over a plus c plus d. And now, to find c squared and d squared, we will do the same thing. So let's multiply the original equation by c and multiply this by d, like this. And now notice, we found the expression that we want to evaluate. This is just a squared. We have here b squared over a plus c plus d. We have c squared over a plus d plus d. And d squared over a plus b plus c. And now, since we want their sum, so what we're going to do is to replace this with a variable. Let's call this as s. So the sum of this expression simply equal to s. And now, since we want the sum, so what we're going to do is to add all of this equation. And when we add this, we get that s equals, let's combine all fraction with the same denominator. So we have ab over b plus c plus d, ac over b plus c plus d, ad over b plus c plus d. All right. And we need to add these three terms because they have the same denominator, these three terms, and the last, these three terms. And this is equivalent to a plus b plus c plus d. Now, Let's focus on these three terms since they have the same denominator. So what we're going to do is to combine them. And notice on the numerator, we have a common factor of A. So let's factor out A. Now we will do the same thing in these three expressions. Combine them. Factor out the common factor of B. So we have this one. And we will do the same thing to these three terms and to the last three terms. All right. So let's factor out D. Now, what have you noticed? We can eliminate B plus C plus D and B plus C plus D on the denominator. This is just one. So this is just S plus A. And we can eliminate this. This is just one. And we can do the same thing to the rest because they are just the same thing. This is just 1. Now, our equation becomes S plus A plus B plus C plus D equals A plus B plus C plus D. So if we subtract A on both sides, B on both sides, C on both sides, D on both sides, we eliminate A, B, C, and D. So S simply equal to 0. And we know S is equivalent to this entire expression. Therefore, our answer to this question, given this equation equals 1, then the value of this expression simply equal to 0. And this is our answer to this question. So given this equation, then the value of this expression simply equal to zero and as always we are done